Oh my god, here we go, guys. Let's see. Oh my god, is that Momoi? Oh wow. Oh no, is that Phantom? Hi everyone, it's Chance. It's been quite a while since our last run. Yo, Chance! I know it'll be like, where's Lazy Cats? Well, the truth is, he's currently very busy with the ladies no, of Vanguard no, no, test server no, no. for version 2.2. So today, I'll take his camera to unveil the patch note for the upcoming update. As many of you may know, Fall 84 is about to hit one year mark. Nice. This anniversary update is scheduled on April 18th. It will bring you a lot of new features, including the new season system, sleek user interfaces, revamped heroes, game balance adjustments, and so much more. That's not all. We've also prepared a series of unprecedented events and activities in and out of the game. This includes anniversary rewards, in-game items, and official merchandises. I know you guys have been waiting for a very long time. As usual, we've also got three gift codes for you today. Don't forget to redeem them after the video. Double All right, gift let's codes. get right into what's next. Let's go, in Chance! Update. In the past, our in-game rewards were all over the place. I would spend so much time in the lobby, clicking away like a crazy boy just to claim all kinds of rewards. I mean, talk about time well spent. Well, here's the all new season system. In this new system, each season Ooh. will last three months, each with unique themes and challenges. The new season design will provide us with a clearer sense of goals and participation. Through what? Through the Triumph Tracker. Now, rank task, battle pass, and daily tasks will all combine into the new Triumph Tracker. Triumph Tracker is way more concentrated oh. and efficient. You only need to focus on leveling up the Triumph Tracker and get all kinds of rewards. Oh, I like Momoi's design, battle, actually. That's cool. Complete tasks, level up, and get the rewards. By the way, rewards are upgraded as well. Like there's a free SSR skin in the Tracker once certain levels oh. are reached. And way more rewards after the paid Tracker is unlocked. We also know that you are tired of getting only golds in the game after you max out your levels. So in this season, we're introducing an all-new currency, Farlight Coins. Farlight Coins, Coins can be used in the Farlight Store for a variety of cosmetic items. Mm -hmm. In this update, you can use Farlight Coins to redeem Maggie's new upgradable SSR skin, oh, Firestorm Major. That looks cool. And good news, Farlight Coins won't be reset, so you can save them up season after season. In celebration of this special anniversary update, the advanced tracker will be unlocked for free for everyone in version 2.2. Just update the game on April 18th and you will see the tracker unlocked right there. Nice. For future seasons, the duration will also be prolonged to three months with much upgraded rewards. The price of the advanced tracker will also change to 1,299 diamonds. I don't know about three months. So we're gonna get an update every three months only? Like we have to wait after this update, it's three months. Oh my God, I don't know about that. So at least we don't lose money. These items are cosmetic items that do not affect gameplay. So you'd like to support Fall 84 by buying one of these advanced tracker in the future. Thank you so much. Free to play players, no worries. You'll get lots of rewards and resources as well. And your gameplay will not be affected at all. This free tracker is just a taste of our anniversary festivities. We've got plenty more surprises in the coming days and weeks. So follow us on the social and stay tuned. Now let's talk about the lobby. And let's not just talk about it, but look at it. Oh, in the lobby, lobby after this update, no theme season content and the play squad info will be more prominent. Oh. New tracker tags will be easily accessible as well. Know your aim, find your drive. Check out some new interactive features. Battery is smooth and well optimized. Now, this is why Fallout 84 is different from all other games. As if it isn't cool enough, take a look at your character and equipment right here in the lobby. Whoa. Oh, you can just change we've it. We've also directly. simplified the starting platform. First, we've introduced a more stylish and streamlined matchmaking window. Also, you can now enter a warm up match while you wait instead of doing literally nothing on the platform. This new visual style is part of how we envision Fallout 84 to be fresh and cutting edge. You'll certainly see more of it in future updates. 
What else you will see is a new gift code. Take a screenshot and oh, let's move nice. on to the next topic. I have a question for you all. Who's the most charming hero in Fallout 4? Charming hero? Well, I'd say it's Phantom. Phantom has always been a standout hero in Fallout 4. In this new update, we've made some adjustments to her skills. Her first tactical skill, Portable Scout, allows her to throw a scanning device towards a target location, obtaining the enemy... Oh my god, is this gonna be good? Are they gonna, uh, like, change everything? Let's see. Position. Her passive skill has now returned, granting increased damage when scoring headshots with a sniper. Oh, Additionally, nice. Additionally, she now has a brand new tactical skill. What is that? Phantom Crash. This skill allows her to put a trap earring that pops up and activates when the enemy come close. Oh! Dealing increasing damage over time within its radius. Oh my it's god. It's worth mentioning that our signature old optical camel has undergone some balancing adjustments. When groups go invisible and coordinate with teammates, it creates situations that are difficult to counter. So in this update, after casting her old, Phantom will only turn herself invisible, while providing a speed boost to teammates. Oh my god, now so no, not everyone's gonna be invisible, only her. But she's gonna give you a speed boost. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. What do you guys think? You guys like this new change? Let me know in the comments. But be cautious. Stealth. Getting too close to enemies weakens the effect. While in stealth mode, weapons will be holstered and any attack action will stop the stealth mode immediately. Phantom is ready to dive into the chaos of this update. My advice, always watch your back. There will be a new skill introduction video for Phantom. Don't miss out. In this update, our Rockstar... Wait, 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 one second, guys, one second. What do, you, what do we think about Phantom's new design, guys? What are we saying? Yes or no? Do you guys like it? Me, personally, I am 50-50. Oh, but I like the skin. That's what I like, I like the VSS skin. Oh, that's cool, actually, it has like a battery meter on it. That's cool. Yeah, what do you guys think? In this update, our rock star Michelle has also gained a new tactical skill, Sonic Tracking. Michelle releases a scan in a fan-shaped area ahead. If enemies are detected, Michelle's cute little rabbits will appear. These rabbits are in the same numbers as the enemies and will dash towards them, slowing them down and revealing their position. You better watch out. Oh my god, that's kind of broken. Wow. I mean, I like it. I wonder how it is. Let's see in the game. Hmm. Don't get caught up. In addition to Phantom and Michelle, we've also made some adjustments to all heroes. In this update, we focused on the relationship between damage and a character's speed. Typically, maintaining precise aim in intense battles is a challenge, especially when your enemies are constantly on the move. In this update, we're introducing a new mechanism of universal damage slowdown. Now, being attacked by enemies will result in a temporary reduction in movement speed. If you are in sprint, or is it receiving a speed buff, you're still affected but to a lesser degree. However, if a hero is performing a slide or jump action when taking damage, their speed won't be affected. This is because these movements are inertial and thus aren't impacted by the attack. Now you can aim more accurately with So now when you get damage, you get slowed down. Interesting, okay. Less pressure in the battles. On the other hand, Jet Slide and Jump will become more important for evading enemies and counter attacks. More tactical choices and combat strategy. Jet Slide is also improved. Now, it's even smoother and responsive. You can now cast skills while Jet Sliding. You can also oh, crouch nice. in mid-air to Jet Slide, which applies to both side and backward jump. Nice. This means that whether you are on the ground or in the air, you can Jet Slide at any time enhancing your ability to evade tax. We've also changed some general settings to provide a more balanced and fair experience. Previously, the balance between characters of different sizes was reflected through different base health points. Now, all characters have the same HP. Instead, we adjust balance based on the character's head and body size. For example, larger characters will receive additional damage reduction and immunity to slowing effects when hit. In this update, we've made several adjustments to firearms. We have fine-tuned the handling of all weapons, particularly focusing on the recoil and weight of fire, especially when firing from the hip. This has resulted in increased bullet spread and a slight decrease in weight of fire. 
make it more challenging to accurately hit enemies. Additionally, we have adjusted assembly logic for scopes, magazines, stocks, and muzzles, categorizing them into four types, submachine gun, sniper rifle, shotguns, and rifles. Okay. This requires players to select magazine types based on the weapon category. If your long-term strategy involves using a sniper rifle, collecting sniper rifle attachments early in the match might be a wise decision. Nice. Furthermore, as the heroes level up, they will also increase their firearm specialization level, thereby affecting the base damage of weapons. We will enhance the value of weapons and attachments found inside golden oh, that's chests cool. and evenly distribute them across I the like map. I like the new chests. Don't forget to open them. Moreover, you can now cast your skills in more scenarios. For example, Amber can cast these skills while reloading. So can oh. Bow, Captain, Phantom, and Watchman with their skills. Now, here's a second gift code. Make sure to redeem it afterwards. Nice. The Two new gift map, codes. Thunder Realms, has been out for a while now, and we're still improving it. We noticed that some strongholds did not foster enough intense battles and mobility. Yeah, that's true. Which was not what we wanted. So, firstly, we've added jump pads and zip lines. Again, to add more vertical and horizontal depth to battles. Next, we've simplified the map display. We removed some text info such as task, vehicle switch, and high value resources area. Oh, nice. Instead, they are replaced with more intuitive event prompts. You can now quickly understand what's happening on the map and make decisions more timely. Lastly, we've optimized the display of the minimap as well as some UI elements. There are also some important new things and adjustments coming to the map. First, the revive system will have a wait, new wait, mechanism wait, 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 wait. to the map, map as well as some UI. Guys, look, hold it to stop following. <clears throat> what does that mean? That means that you can like auto follow your like auto follow your uh, squad mates. That would be cool if you're AFK or something. Damn. Elements. There are also some important new things and adjustments coming to the map. First, the revive system will have a new mechanism. Oh, revive when the system. When shrinkage occurs, responders will be disabled. Upon your first death, you must wait for the entire team to be eliminated before returning to the battlefield together. Oh. Or you can respawn after waiting for a maximum of 60 seconds. Also, introducing a brand new device. Interesting. Revival device. Did this happen to you? Your teammate died far away and it's just not possible to revive them in time. This will be addressed in a new revive system. The revival device can oh. revive all fallen teammates, no matter oh. where they died. Nice. However, after the teammates are revived, the revival device will slowly disappear and cannot be used again. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this means you can ambush your enemies and the revival device. Perhaps they're already on the way to revive their teammates. Fights will be more intense. There's also a new game element in the game, extended item, which will enhance your combat and survival abilities. These items are magazine pouch, oh. medical container, and shield storage. Each of them can increase the maximum number of items you can carry. Equip a magazine pouch and you'll get more ammo capacity. Equip a medical container and you'll get more medical kit capacity, and so on and so forth. These extended items come in different qualities. Higher quality items provide more carry capacity and additional attributes. For example, while the highest <laughs> level medical container and shield storage can accelerate the use of medical kits and shield chargers. Oh, that's so Finally, much faster. Nice. There's a helmet feature. You no longer have to worry about getting headshots from afar without any protection. But note that unlike shield... Well, I mean, the bar doesn't even one-shot you even without a helmet. Uh, they have to increase the bar's damage because it's very uh, underwhelming. Shield, helmets cannot be upgraded. The catapult have also received upgrades with some interesting oh, expansions. Oh, nice. You can even do a double jump. In the new version, you'll gain hero XP alongside shield XP. So this device will become even more important. Don't forget to collect it. And that wraps up the combat-related adjustments nice. in this update. Now, here's the third gift code for everyone. Make sure to redeem Third gift code, guys. Go for it. Redeem it promptly. The theme of this season's advanced tracker Ooh, let's is see. Rebel BFFs. This tracker will be introducing the first ever U Rebel BFFs. I see. Okay, let's just do that. You are hero skin and a weapon skin. Let's take a look. You are hero skin, captain, top style. 
Whoa, that's a Oh my god, what did they do to Captain? R.I.P. A bad, bad boy. You are a weapon skin. Bad, bad boy. Stella Wade. <laughs> Chance, Very no. bully. Surviving on the- Chance, what did he say, bro? That's so funny. Streets requires more than just words. This is our skin, Momoi. Oh, that's Skate cute. lady. Score girl Momoi seems to be hiding some secrets. This is our weapon skin, Invader, Nova Nightmare. Aim steadily, fire hard. More SSR skins of VSS7, nice. loot box, jetpacks, and so many other SR skins. All included in the advanced tracker, which is worth 12.99 diamonds. And you will get it for free. Yeah. By the way, Freddy's also got a new UR skin in the lottery event. Oh, you are Freddy? Freddy Aurora oh. Excursion. Next up are some system related changes. I like that. High ping issues in certain regions will get better. You will get more local match. Oh, high ping issues have been resolved. Did you hear that, guys? No more high ping. Depending on your region. We also noticed there is some imbalance between 3 player and 4 player sport mode. And only 20% of players would choose 4 player sport mode, which is way lower than the 3 player sport mode. At the same time, in order to shorten matchmaking times and gather more players, the 4 player sport mode will be suspended. Your historical rank of duo, trio, and quad mode will be combined. What did you say? One second. Player squad mode will be suspended. So squad mode is gone. Your historical rank of duo, trio, and quad mode will be combined. Okay, duos, trios will be combined. The new season's rank will be based on the highest rank achieved. However, in the future, 4-player squad will also be offered in other non-ranked modes, like some regular matches and entertainment modes. In this mode, you will still be able to enjoy playing with a team of 4. Suspending any game mode is a tough choice. We would love to keep as many game modes open as possible to offer more variety, but we need to balance matchmaking time. We know some of you may feel sad about it, but we wish this tough choice could bring an overall better matchmaking experience. If you bring some friends back to Fallout 84, things might change. And don't worry, all your historical score performances will be safe. Monthly and weekly car systems will be removed in this update. This corresponds to our effort to make the new season track- Oh, month weekly and monthly cards are gone. No more. Oh no, I wanted that, I loved it. More rewarding for a longer period of time. For those who have already purchased, your reward will still be delivered. Finally, in this video, we'd like to provide some sneak peeks into content that we are developing but not ready to put into the game just yet. Okay. As mentioned in the special announcement last oh, year, look at that. Mech Boss Mode is in development. And we have some updates for you. Battle Royale Mode and Regional Conflicts will both feature his presence. You can team up with your enemies to strategize against nice. it. As for what rewards you can obtain, <laughs> stay tuned. And there's more, so subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more news. Don't forget these are still under development and we wish you like the way we showcase these little sneak peeks for you. Fallout 84's version 2.2 update will be released on April 18th. This will be our anniversary update containing tons of optimization and new features. The new longer, more rewarding season system, the new Farlight Coins currency with more rewards, a brand new lobby design that is so cool, no, no, and new lobby design mechanisms like revival device and I like the revival items, device to be honest. And nice. many more quality of life updates. Don't forget to claim the free advanced tracker on April 18th. Follow us and turn on the notification for quicker access to game updates. Yes, sir. By the way, happy anniversary. This is Chance signing off. Peace. Take care, Chance. Nice. W, W. Okay, that's good. That's good. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.